Yo, what's the word? Check it, tweak it. Me and Blood Bad Foy just jumped off the porch of Dirty Glove Bastard. 40s and 90s, when we bust out the rack, can't forget Drake, making it a turnbuck hat. Oh, no, I'm blind, trying to catch on Clay and Kenna before we don't see how to act. We got the one and only Chucky jumping off the porch with us today. Welcome, man. Huh? You know that. Thank you for having me, man. Bath. Hey, you nah, know I appreciate you pulling up, man. You know, you're one of the hottest artists coming out of Chicago right now, man. So, you know, appreciate it's an that. honor to have you on the porch with us today, too, man. Oh, gang. Yeah. Thank you for having me, though, for sure, for sure. No problem, man. So, how you feeling today, man? Feeling good, man. I'm fucking with the A. Yeah. It's decent. Feeling thorough. Yeah. This ain't your first time down here, is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, first time, first time is decent. Really? Okay. What do you think of it so far, man? It's sterile. It's hot. I like the weather <laughs> it's and hot shit. As shit right it now. looks nice out here. It's cool. It's look bad out here. For now. Yeah. I'm it's different to LA, that shit. Yeah, it's different yeah. to LA. I'm for now. <laughs> what do you think of the studios down here in Atlanta? I know you uh, was recording last night, too. Yeah, I've been to one. I locked in that bitch, and I ain't gonna lie. I think I locked in that bitch so hard because uh, it looked like it, it looked like the studio one. The studio was back in the rack. Oh, for real? Like one of the studios I like locking in. At. For them, I was locked in last night. Okay. Oh, studios out here thorough though. Yeah. I know. They fuck on every corner too, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you know, let's go ahead and dive into your story, man. So you're from the South Side, right? South Side south of Chicago. South Side of the rack. Right. I'll give guards 130th. Okay. Back to the Calumet ways, you know. Everywhere on that side of the town. Okay. My whole life. Yeah. Okay. So talk about your experience growing up there, man. Like, what were you into as a kid and all that, too? Regular shit, like, you know? Regular street shit. But now, regular hoop shit, you know? Regular look here shit, everything. Like, shit everybody do, bro. Yeah. I'll fucking be on this bitch babbling for them great. <laughs> for them. But I ain't gonna lie. It get, it get like that in that bitch, folk, but I ain't gonna get in this bitch like that. You know? Yeah. Fuck them. That shit was decent growing up. Hmm. Motherfuckers die. Everybody got to die. <laughs> Fuck die every state. That shit just going on in Iraq. Nah, so that's true. paint that picture like that. That shit's sweet. Yeah. You, you gotta know how to move. Yeah. You feel like that's, uh, the media is always like portraying that negative image of Chicago, man? For sure. It be like that. Every time, every time, every time I'm outside of, Talk about the rack, it's always some silly shit. Yo. Oh, bro. Yo, or even the blogs like to talk about like how many people were shot in one weekend in Chicago. That's like, why I don't do no interviews. It be, really like be like that, like I ain't, I don't fold them. It was really busting in the rack, but I'm saying, niggas, niggas be bopping. Yeah. On that question you asked me, how was it growing up in Chicago? Niggas be bopping on that, what? <laughs> yeah, it's like people don't portray the good that happens in Chicago too, though. Be yourself is so rare. Be yourself is so rare. Me versus me just dropped that bitch video from the drop real soon, man. Yeah. Mike performance just dropped video from the drop real soon. I mean. Now, do you got any siblings or are you the only kid or what? I'm the oldest child. I mean, I'm the uh, oldest child. Okay. Oh, bro, I got five siblings. Younger than you? Oh, shit, man. I got five, four shorties. <laughs> five shorties. <laughs> So do you feel any type of like responsibility to kind of show them like, you know, Hell yeah. the good side of shit, man? Yeah, yeah, they already seeing this shit. All of them got something going for themselves. Even liberal, his little ass full. Hmm. Full them. Definitely looking up to big bro. I'm doing the right shit. Yeah. Nah, definitely right now. Yeah, I'm sure he looking up like, damn, there's a better way to make this shit, man. My little brother at the crib right now with chains on and shit, man. He's chilling. <laughs> oh, him. he lit then, huh? Full them great. So when would you say you jumped off the porch, how old were you? Around 13, 14. For the grave, my fuck get to doing little shit. Then that shit get, little shit getting the big shit. And then you tied in that shit, knee deep. For now. That shit ain't about nothing though, yeah. you know? We got out that shit early, I'm 18. Yeah. I'm for now, I'm 18. True. Did you ever expect like shit to be like this lit for you? Being just 18, man? Yeah, just not this quick though, I ain't gonna lie. I always saw it, and my mama always said it. Oh, bro. Just not this quick. Yeah. That shit happened quick. I only been rapping 11 months, for real. Yeah. Shit took off for you fast, man. What? <laughs> for now. Did you finish school? Did you graduate or did you drop out or what? 
I got I ended up getting I ain't graduate. I ended up getting kicked banned banned from they they tried to basically force me to go to alternative school and say I couldn't go to no other regular schools. Like even if it was in a different district type shit. So they basically banned me from all <laughs> Illinois schools, folks. God so I tried damn. to go get my GED. I'm going to the little college shit. I'm going in that bitch, this motherfucker like 60 years old, shit like, I'm not trying to see none of that shit again. I'm going in that bitch trying to do my work, get my education and shit, cause none of this shit was even looking like it was gonna be like how it is now. So I'm trying to really just go get my education for my mama and shit. I'm, like, I'm thinking like, that's the least I could do. I'm doing this for OG. Yeah. Oh, for no, but I couldn't do that shit before I stopped going that shit. No oh, shit. But yeah, I got kicked out fights and shit. They tried to say I was gang leaders, all type of shit in high school. Fucked on Ridge. I'm fucking them. <laughs> Fucked on Ridge. Okay. When did you get that? Like when you were a junior or a sophomore or what? I think a, so- a junior. Okay. Junior. Yeah. Sophomore, junior. Okay. Hmm. That's cool. That's cool. I got the shit out there too. I graduated from that motherfucker, but I was not done. I missed so many days, boy. They told my ass, boy. You didn't end up getting graduated. Yeah, I'm coming to that bitch, man. Like, we, I'm all right. I ain't finna come. Ah, <laughs> uh, you gotta stay with me. That's cool. Goofy as hell, man. I missed so many days. I'm coming to that bitch with y'all. But no, me, y'all. Oh, boy, that's the name of the crowd. How that school is going right. For sure. That school, you know that school. That shit go on in the rack. Still. So, what would you say were like some of the trials and tribulations you had to overcome in your life so far, Jack? Uh, I don't know, for I just like going down to zero. Like, I went down to zero a lot of times. Hmm. I'm phone No, I ain't gonna say I like going down to zero, but I appreciate the times I went to zero because it motivated me to grind more. Yeah. I'm phone I ain't really never lose my granddaddy. That's the only thing, you know? But that shit was way, way. I'm phone I just appreciate the times I went down to zero. That shit made me want to go big. Yeah. I got family. I'm fucking, you know? My mama in a rack. OG in a rack driving Ubers and shit for, as work and shit. Ain't nobody trying to see that shit all day, every day. Fuck that. It's life to live out here for. Yeah. I'm going to, my mom and them ain't got to work no more. Oh. For them. So I appreciate the time I went to zero. That's a try the triple A's only. So how proud is your mom right now, you know, of everything you've been able to accomplish, man? Huh? Well, she happy as hell. <laughs> I was just on the phone with OG before I got right up. I'm in my happy as fuck. Again, that's my number one supporter. Now nah, that's love right there, man. So you mentioned only doing this shit for 11 months. Like, what motivated you or inspired you to start at, start rapping then? I don't even know, fo. I just got the rapping for. Everybody around me rap. <clears throat> so it's like that shit been around and ain't shit new. I been here and that shit, been in studio sessions and shit. I just got the rapping one day and that shit got to working. Sure. I just got the dropping that shit on, on my Instagram every day, every week. That shit was going up. Uh-huh. Phone up my Instagram followers got to going up. My shit went to like 30K. I was on the ground for like um, like two months straight, just dropping trillers. Not even the grind. I was just dropping them bitches just in the basement on my on my phone on band live, just making music, oh, shooting trillers. Oh, shit. And I got kicked out of school. Hmm. True. Now, were your people around you were like, uh, were they encouraging you to start rapping before then, or? Yeah, it was a couple of motherfuckers. A couple of motherfuckers. Hell yeah. yeah. One of my really, really one of my songs. What they gonna do? That bitch was floating around like like unreleased though. That mm-hmm. bitch was unpublished. That bitch was floating around and unreleased. My used to send me videos and screen record my fucking story and send it to me like, boy, you should drop that. So I'm like, got fed up at one one day, and I'm downloaded this app called Disho Kid, because mm-hmm. I heard you could uh, uh, put that put put songs on Instagram. So I'm thinking that shit only gonna put on Instagram. So I paid for the shit and uploaded it, 
and motherfucker got to put it on Instagram. Whole time that shit dropped on every platform. <laughs> I didn't even know that shit was out. I checked that shit at like 200. That shit at like two bucks for them gray. Damn. That's your first check, huh? <laughs> for them. Yeah. So did you fall in love with that shit like right away? Like as soon as you started rapping? No. I just, I just fell in love with this shit. Really? Just recently? Probably like last week. <laughs> last week? For them. That's wild to hear, considering, you know, how popping some of your songs be, man. Fono. They be having to force me to rap. I just got back in my mood. It's, I'm locked in now, though. I ain't gonna take my foot back off the gas. Hmm. I don't know, bro. Got studio tonight. Nah, matter of fact, I just told him. October, October, the merge dropping. Put a fucking helmet on, man. <laughs> you know how we rocking the game. Like, put a helmet on, scrap the fuck up, man. Yeah. My GTA server getting did on right now. The whole hood in that bitch. For them. I could walk up to, I could drive to my house on the game. My house in the rack in real life that I got, I could drive to that bitch on the game. Oh, that's all right. bro. <laughs> Dog shit, all time shit. Dog, we finna. Oh, you want them bullies and them Frenchies and shit coming to 40 and Turkey? It ain't shit, man. We got the lows and the highs, the exotics. <laughs> For them gray. I said, like, what happened last week? Because you said last week's when you really fell in love with like uh, yeah, making I music. Guess, I guess, I guess, I was just thinking. Like, I don't really never sit back and think about me. For them. I just sat back thinking about me for for a chance, okay, and then it's damn, for him, like I'm big, okay. I, ain't, I don't even realize how big I am. Hmm. I still don't. For him walking up on me, showing me shit, I don't even see it's out. Hmm. For him, like I'm big. I ain't even know this shit like that. For. Yeah, we think it. Man, we thinking the wrong way. It's a fan yeah. all the way in Atlanta. Yeah, because you never know what type of time someone's yeah, on. Yeah, they, they in a black Rango. He looking. Oh, he. he steady looking. The whole time he looking because he know it's me. He talking to photo. He get out the car. He then to get out while that bitch moving. Nah, he parking. He get out parking. Photo. In the garage. His bitch come out the cut. He come out the cut. Hey, Chucky. I'm finna tell him, nah, oh, yeah, but you already see, he seen us, right? We, right? We wiped out, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, I'm fucking this music, he hard, what, oh, oh, oh. Bro, and he just sit there, <laughs> he waited till we pulled up all the time, shit. <laughs> oh, bro, fans, you know, I ain't gonna lie to fans. They came, but I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to fans, man. Oh, bro. Famous, it's, 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 it's crazy, though. Uh, yeah, bro, famous is crazy. Crazy, I don't like being famous though. <laughs> nah, that shit different, man. That I shit goofy. Around, I be around blood. That shit. That shit ain't where it's at. They be tweaking. They be tweaking. So I could just imagine when they get on with it, they get turned for little blood. I see how I raise my ass shit gonna be. Even crazy. So, you know, your rap style is kind of like unorthodox too, man. Some of the beats you be rapping on be like, man, they be different. Like, was that like a plan you had when you came into this shit, or was that just the I shit that kind of drew to you? That shit just drew to me. That's just my style, fuck. Like, I won't even rap. Like, I'm picky as hell with my beats, though. Um, bro, I, that's just how it came to me. Like, how, how, everything how everything y'all see, how I'm doing that's different to y'all, it just came to me. <laughs> I don't know, practice shit. That's just how I came in the stool. I was the jump, I was the dribble. Yeah. Nah, I fuck with that shit, because that shit's so different, man. Mm, bro, I appreciate that, though. Yeah. For sure. So when, like, you going through beats, do you go through, like, a lot of beats before you find some shit that you like then, or? Nah, because I got specific. I got niggas, fuck. So now you got some producers that know your yeah, sound. Yeah, Ben, when I jumped in this shit. Oh, for real? Motherfucker Ben riding, riding. Motherfucker Ben up on us. Oh, mm, bro. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about some of these songs, man. So you mentioned uh, what they gonna do. That was like the first one. Like they said, this bitch, where's it at? 
almost 500,000. Not, e- not even a video, just the audio on YouTube, man. And I dropped it on accident. <laughs> dropped it on accident. Phone them great. Yeah. So do you remember like recording that, first, that, uh, that song? Yeah, I was in the basement in my room. <laughs> on the bed. Oh, shit. Oh, bro. I got off GTA and got on band lab. Huh. So I take you didn't expect it to do what it did then, huh? You was just making some shit, huh? Hell no. Nah. Uh, so talk about that Nike Tech, because that video went crazy, too. Uh, <clears throat> Nike Tech, uh, I fuck with Nike Tech, too. Oh, bro, that bitch did th- decent. I don't really know what everything got, though. Yeah. Like, I don't know why my numbers at. I just know I just hit an M. <laughs> That's all. A damn. Nike Tech motherfucker got real chops and buttons with fifties in that bitch. Nike Techs. I love the fuck out of Nike Techs. <laughs> you can wear them shits every day, man. Yeah. Fuck them great. So how did the song Good Aim come about, man? Man, it was me and my nigga ZP in the booth. ZP, that was ZP song. Yeah, everybody was in the booth, but my nigga ZP was rapping Trench Bound Zopound. What the fuck his rap name is, though? Damn, what the fuck is that? Tre- uh, tre- oh, bro. Trezor. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Don't fold them. You had that Trezor. Make sure you put that in there, folks. Like, folks gonna appreciate that, though. For sure. Fold them great. Okay. My nigga Trezor was in that bitch rapping, though, folks. And this is around the time I first started rapping. Hmm. They was putting me in the stool and shit. Oh, bro, no. Oh, bro, no. Like, when I first started getting in the, in the stool, I meant to say. Okay. Fold them. They started putting me in the booth. Yeah. Okay, I go in that bitch, ZP rapping and shit. He was supposed to do that whole song, but I oh, guess the nigga came out. I was, I went in and. Matter of fact, I know exactly what it is. I'm fucking put you in the booth, on bro. I had big ass laugh, bro. I had big ass laugh, on bro. We was in that bitch chilling. We all in that bitch gang TV in that bitch making music, but then they hopped on that bitch. Oh no, hopped on that bitch after acting crazy. That bitch came out, I ain't gonna lie. And that bitch, that's finna hit an M. Yeah, man. it's real close, yeah. That's finna hit an M, man. You finna hit like four M's back to back. Yeah, cause 100 Days, 100 Nights, I just hit an M, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. And that song is like, bro, that shit's only like 88 <laughs> seconds long. Oh. <laughs> that bitch 88 seconds long. You am? Hey, I was just in the studio took it last night, four them got shit fried. They talking about I made a two minute Two, two minutes and 30 seconds on. I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> My shit be short. I don't be doing it on purpose, though. It just be like, I be in that bitch. I stop when I want to stop. Shit. Yeah. yeah, someone on YouTube commented, it's like, man, if Chucky makes a two-minute song, it's going to save her. legendary. Earth. Some shit like that. <laughs> I be seeing all that shit. That should be wild. Be it's that like all your so songs funny. are like under two <laughs> minutes. <laughs> the new shit. I tried to get on the dance like, what's good? I'm, I tell them, I'm like, I'm reading the comedy, man, they want you two minutes or something, eat. I pull up, it's like, the, I like, who, I don't even like long ass songs, man. Yeah. <laughs> Quick, knock and get out the way, next song, folks. Cut on the next artist or play another one of my shit. Get yeah. it out the way. Fuck now. Fuck is we here for four minutes, for? And you know that helps <laughs> with your streams, because pe- that shit's so short, people want to go back and listen to that shit again. Fuck now. Yeah. So, uh, you know, 100 Days, 100 Nights, like, what was, uh, you remember that studio session when you recorded, like, the inspiration Hell for that yeah, song? yeah, my nigga Turkey bought the whole session. <coughs> <coughs> Got everybody to Cali. Fun them great. Make sure everybody decent. We in that bitch. Getting it going. Yeah. Fun them, they in that bitch ticking. We in that bitch ticking. You said the video show or the stool? The, the studio session, yeah. Oh, I'm ticking. <laughs> Where the fuck we was at in Studio 2020? We was in 2020. I was just in that bitch chilling with me and Millie D. Hmm. Me and Bloodbath. For them gray. But in the video, shoot my nigga Wook. 
the nigga Wood got everybody there. And how you feeling about the song when you're done recording? Do you feel like it's going to do what it does, or is it just another song I to just, you? I just, I don't be thinking like that. I just be like, oh, this is all right. Boom, bro. Yeah, I just drop it whenever I want to drop it, then it'll do what it do. Yeah. So talk about the King Tut. Uh, you can That's my favorite song, game. The first one or the second one? The first one. Yeah. Like, I did, it's going like a classic, though. Like, my, I'm not talking about favorite song out of my songs and either. I'm talking about in the world. Hmm. For now. Yes. I bet you that. I wish the video would have did more. I really don't know. I don't know what happened to that bitch. Hmm. Oh, no. That bitch supposed to hide an M. Yeah, because the audio went crazy on that shit. <laughs> Um, bro, though, I love the fuck out that song. Though. Why do you say that's your favorite song, then? The beat, how I came on that bitch, the video shoot, that night was busting. I'm funny. I just love that video, fuck. Yeah. Fun, though, that's my favorite song, man. And part two going crazy, too, man. It's all right. It's a, it's I all right. keep it real myself, though. Because some of the shit I be dropping, I don't even be. For real? Mm. Basically. I got so much raw shit hmm. from them. How many unreleased songs would you say you're sitting on? You got a lot or you kind of just been throwing everything out? Yeah, I'm going to see. Hmm. A lot, uh, we, got my, we got my features from the stock popping out too. Okay. Mm-hmm. We ain't going to speak on them though. Huh. <laughs> mm-hmm. So talk about this newest one, this one up that you just put out, man. Oh, um, well, I fuck with that. And the video shoot was fun. Shoot, that bitch was decent. Got the thoughts in that bitch. <laughs> fun them tweaking. Fun them big ass crib. Where'd y'all shoot that one at? Out in LA or? LA, for okay. sure. The other crib. Oh. Fun them LA home. What is it about the vibes in LA that you fuck with? It's just. Vibes. Just the all right. <laughs> fun them. Uh, um, and our vibes, our vibes plus LA vibes, just too vibing. We just vibing. We got everything for them. For them. BP, we in Rogers, everything, everything. Barbers, man, hey, you gotta, I'll tell you, you gotta make it turn, cause it's gonna be dry. You gotta make that one for the turn, bro. They fuck with us. Yeah. Shout out Smirk. Yeah. How did that connection happen? Oh, you great. The day before my B day, we, we was photo pulled up on Turkey because they've been fucking with blood in them game. Yeah. Like they always been around. Yeah, man, blood always been around blood in them type shit. Oh, bro, but more of the story, folk. <laughs> day before my birthday, we was at the crib. We was with my, sh- my nigga Big L, everybody in that bitch, and the nigga Turkey was basically telling me like Blood was basically looking into me and shit, and, like he was going to sign me and shit. And I was talking to this label, Alamo, and you know, Smirk early on in his career, he signs Alamo and shit. Mm-hmm. So it was just like, everything was connecting dots. We just locked in, made that shit happen, bro, them thorough as hell, phone them, love the fuck out them game. Yeah. Bro. Them game. Shout out my nigga Calvin too, folk. Calvin Khan, no polo tees. <laughs> For them great. <laughs> so how motivating is that, you know, to be part of OT after yeah, man? Huh? That shit. Everything, everything, everything. For I got the right shit going on right now, again. For them great. Yeah. And I will whatever, for. For them. So I think it was an easy decision then, huh, for you? For sure. Yeah. That seems like a good fit for you too, man. I fit in the frame, man. <laughs> I'm great. Now, have you and Dirk cooked up some shit yet? Can you reveal that? Hell no. Not yet. Okay. But I can tell y'all one thing. Me and Blood been just cooking up <laughs> in general. For them. Wicked Breezy and Chucky, my woe. Them not the niggas you sent to the store. Breaking news and changes the suit. I'm going He tweaking. <laughs> Great. So how much would you say your life has changed since you uh, signed and everything, man? A lot. Shit been good. I've been getting better sleep. Getting better sleep? 
Fuck That's important, man. Fucking all these thoughts, man. Counting all this money. Out here with four them. We steady on the plane. I just can't take it. Seemed like you liking this rap shit then, huh? You kind of wish you would have started at it earlier, or was it perfect timing for you? It's early, shit. I'm young as hell. Yeah, you're still young. I'm young as hell. Everything was perfect. Yeah. Should fans expect a, a project from you, or are you kind of just focusing on singles and videos right now? No, nah, October. Okay. I just announced it. All right now. You got the title picked out, or what? I'm letting them do that. In the you going to let the fans pick? Yeah. My shit going crazy right now. From them <laughs> <laughs> so what should we expect, you know, to hear on the album then? Are these songs you kind of been stacking, like the good ones, or? It's really, I'm finna, I got shit, I could, I could, I got, I could put a tape together right now. Like, I, could, I got song, I got enough songs to put a tape together right now. Mm. But I'm finna just run and gun, phone them great, make all new raw shit. Okay. Gang. Yeah. And yeah, we got DJ Bands on, on the beats. DJ Bands on, beats. DJ Bands on the beats. Jayco on the beat. The uh, Thank You Timmy nigga on the beats. Oh, shout out all them niggas, gang. Oh, bro. Fun them great. Yeah. <clears throat> and how would you describe your growth as, you know, as a rapper, as an artist? So you first started 11 months ago up until today, then. <laughs> This shit large. It's like I've been doing this for a long time. Hmm. Fun and rare. And what's your creative process like? Do you do you write or you just punch in? You go off the top or both? What well, I do? Off the top. Yeah, yeah, write too, but it'd be off the top though. Hmm. So that ain't like you just like before the session. I'm out the top. And I put that shit in my notes as I go. Okay. Oh, bro. And that bitch. And how often you record them right now? You in there like multiple times a week? I was just sick as hell for, and Cali. I don't know what be in the end Cali for, but I just be always under the weather out there. Oh. So I, ain't, well, I was out there for a minute. I was just out there for a minute. I ain't getting no songs in. So I took a little break. And when I just got out here, I just knocked out like four songs last night, or something like that. Okay. Now I got that bitch for longer than night though, so you know what that means. I'm had like ten, 10 songs before I bail out this bitch, and I only been here for two days. From them gray. Yeah. You know, with a lot of love comes some hate, unfortunately. How you be dealing with like the online haters and trolls? Fuck all you niggas, boy. Y'all last get. Yeah, what this doing? I'm for them. Okay. Fuck all you niggas. And I see all that shit. I just don't get no fuck. Like me, I don't get no fuck about nothing. So you don't be clapping back at them online? No, man. I see one of them niggas in there. I was just tweaking with them niggas at Summer Smash for them. If you want a picture, act like you want a picture and do what you want to do for a picture, folk. Don't be acting weird as hell for me to get your attention or none of that, folks. At the end of the day, folk, fuck all this rap shit, for I'm grief first on game. I'm, I tweak with you in this bitch, gang. I'm tweaking with them. Hey, I was be tweaking. The fans be tweaking. I ain't <laughs> showing no remorse approach, for no they nigga. Yeah, they don't. That shit yeah, all matter, boy. That's why I say that shit because Yeah, motherfuckers be trying to get a picture right outside the whole time. Motherfuckers be thinking they. On some silly shit. We got shit at risk. Motherfuckers won't. Motherfuckers gotta move right. Boy, what the fuck? Motherfuckers want this. Yeah. Breathe the L we breathing. Fuck that motherfucker. Everything. Down to the toenail. Yeah, you gotta move smart out of here now, man. You got yeah, a lot to do. lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it like over there at, at Summer Smash then, man? That shit looked like it was live. That shit was thorough. Lucky had that bitch rocking. Keith had that bitch rocking. Swear had that bitch rocking. Fuck no. No game. Yep. That bitch was rocking. I ain't seen no hoes. It was all. <laughs> for you know, real. But for them, for them great. They fans was in that bitch. That's all that matter. For them, and that bitch getting crazy. Yeah. Chilling. For Have them. you and uh, Lucky cooked up some shit? Hell nah. Me and Lucky on the way though. Okay. Me and Kwani on the way too. For real? Yeah. That's shit. For them great. Shout out my nigga Kwani. That's gonna be hard right there. Wipe me down like Boosie badass. 
Came a long way for the dirt, now I got diamonds. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So my go, yeah, I just filled up with dog shit. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> nah, I feel like you and Lucky would cook up some crazy shit, man. Lucky, my dog. Yeah. Yeah, see, he be lane. fucking with you, man. Oh, bro. Yeah. Uh, what else you working on? What else can, uh, you know, reveal that's coming up for you, uh, Jackie? So I already spilt that thing. I told y'all to close the brand. I got to the point, shit. Close the brand, streaming. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just keep it. I see I'm steady dropping. I ain't, I'm steady dropping. Oh, uh -huh. Shit just on the way. Shit just gonna keep getting heavier. What's the next single or video? You got something already tucked away? Ready? Me versus me. Turn my snake up. Okay. For them gray. You got the video already shot? Yeah, did that yesterday. As soon as I landed, no oh, sleep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's some advice you would share to the youth coming up right now today? Stay focused. Fo stay focused, gang. Stay the fuck focused, gang. I'm gonna be cool, breathe, relax, gang. Just think about the higher route and whatever situation you in for. Okay. That shit out here for, that shit to do out here, gang. It's money to be made, gang. Shit for real, shit. All you gotta do is focus and be yourself. Got wise words there, man, yeah. All right, Chucky, you got any shout outs you'd like to give uh, before we wrap it up here, man? Shout out the whole blood bath. Shout out six of them, gang, shout out 40. Shout out Millie D, shout out OG, shout out Pops, shout out all my little brothers, sister and them gang. You know, shout out all the fans gang. We just gonna keep going up, man. Shout out everybody who love me. Oh bro. Shout out Dirty Glove. Oh gang. For them great. We out the porch. That shit want nothing. 40s and ass when we bust out the rack, can't forget Drake, make a nigga turn buck hat. Oh, now I'm blind, tryna catch on client, can't know before we don't see how to act. Niggas be talking to them boys, stop flying.